sex industry, the trafficking, the exploitation of girls here in Nepal is growing because this culture is a male dominant society and so the value of women is, is not very high. I mean, I'm, I'm happy to help in any way and try to explain to them there's more, there's more than just this. My name is Roman, I'm going to chair. For me, I, I, I don't have a lot to say. My heart is bigger than my mouth. I'm just I'm trying to see what it looks like, what living a life for Christ is like. We learn about prostitution. We hear about it in the States and how it's somewhat of a choice because there's so much money involved. But when you hear about stories of girls and victims here, it's completely different. Where they're forced, where they're tricked, where they're 12 years old, 11 years old, 10 years old. And when I first heard that, I was like, you know, you don't really believe it. It completely opened my eyes. And I said, okay, every, you know, every child needs to know that they're loved. I have to do ministry somehow, some way, for the rest of my life. Our work is focused on a preventive side, where it's border monitoring. No, no. India and Nepal have an open border. We have border staff that just watch the border. We think of potential case, potential girl being trafficked, and we'll just kind of ask questions about them, you know, what, why they're going to India, what they're doing. And you know, the girl's shaking. She doesn't really, her story doesn't really line up. She's mumbling her words. We find out where her parents are. We call her parents. They'll travel 14 hours, 18 hours overnight to come pick up their daughter. Once we've rescued them, they'll come to this school called New Creation. These girls learn how to do a, a respectable trade, and that's beauty school. Care uh, for them like uh, confidence, skill, and like hope, and thinking, I'm a strong God. Here is life. But in Transbar, only there is money and the industry. You know, you get, come and see, come and experience, because that is the first thing that put the fire in, in my heart. My, my, my work in Kathmandu will be done if people start to believe that stuff like that exists and that, oh, I can, I can actually maybe help. I can be the hands and feet, hands and feet of Jesus.